Hi Rose Tracy here from the Papercraft Studio. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how to make this um, little swing card here, swing panel card, um, using the lavender papers from the mini catalogue and also Delicate Forest um, and the die, the main die that comes with this. Um, there are other dies uh, that come with it, including these labels, which um, go really well with obviously with the um, stamp set but I had this idea in my head um, oops, sorry crash to do this and so this lifts up then you get this layer and then you get this bottom one here so this swings hence the name I'm just going to turn my notes over because I realize I'm on the wrong ones <laughs> so it's called a swing front panel card okay so you can see here it just swings so um, let me show you the supplies you need to make this. So I have here a piece of thick basic white cardstock, um, which measures 11 by 4 and 1 8 just because that's half of A4 cardstock. If you're in the US, just uh, cut to four and a quarter um, and then just adjust this layer accordingly. But so I've just scored at five and a half here. So 11 by 4 and 1 8 cut at sorry, scored at five and a half. Um, so I've got a piece of designer series paper here, which measures four inches by five and three eighths. But like I say, if you're using US cardstock, um, get this to measure four and one eighth. Okay, so just to confirm this in the UK, this is uh, four inches by five and three eighths. And then um, you need two pieces of just regular basic white cardstock. These are similar. One measures five by three inches, and this one measures four and seven eighths by three inches. Okay, so this is going to be the one that sits underneath. This is the swing panel. Okay, now I'm not going to lie, it's quite tough getting this through on two layers. Um, it didn't love it, my uh, cutting machine, and um, so I'm just gonna stick this. I'm gonna do a little fine line around the edge. Yeah, I don't want to stick the middle because we're losing most of that. Okay, so just a fine line of glue around the edge and we're just going to layer that. Make sure you've got it the right way up. Layer onto here. There we go, roughly in the middle. I'm <laughs> sliding mine across a little bit. Okay, um, yes, so sorry, where was I there? Um, yes, I'm not going to lie, it doesn't love cutting through the thick layer and this layer. So I'll show you what I did. Um, so this one, this has gone through many times now. So I'm layering up kind of like this, pretty much an even border all the way around. You can pin it in place with some washi tape if you want. Um, but what I would suggest is that you have a go on your machine, your cutting machine, because they're all, um, what's the word? It's not configurated, but um oh nearly had it then i'll think of it but they're all set up collaborated oh collaborated calibrated <laughs> that's the one i'm looking for calibrated in slightly different ways so um yours might be perfectly fine it might glide on through and you know happy days uh, mine didn't like it at all so what i did was i've put a shim on top here but i've also put another layer i'm just going to get a scrap here over that piece because it's this piece in the middle at the top that it struggles to cut okay um so i'm going to put that through i found i had to do it back and forth back and forth back and forth okay um but just see like i say on your machine how um how you get on with that but i'm going to go ahead and cut mine and i will be right back okay i'm going to hope that that's now about to come out quite easily so um if you've got this in a kit from me i'll have done this stage for you and you might be missing this top one here um so i'm going to get rid of the die for a second i can poke those little bits out after so uh you want to get rid of this white piece in the center and you need to work this quite carefully so you don't rip anything and you can see from the back really where it's going um if there are any tricky bits that won't come out you may need to just Give them a little snip just to help them on their way um like i say it didn't love going through it doesn't look like it's gone through that bit very well but um we can cut that and also nobody really knows all the layers <laughs> or all the pieces so 
um, you can kind of put your finger there and just hold these ones and they do pop out, okay? So that's got rid of that centerpiece. Um, and then some of these, you can see on the back, they're not fully cut and they're not meant to be. They're just meant to kind of poke up a little bit. So um, you can spend some time um, with a pokey tool, just getting rid of these extra bits here. Like I say, if there's any tough bits, just look on the back and just give them a little, little gentle pull or you can cut them. So I'm gonna go around and take out all these little spare bits. Um, these little bits down the side will all come out. They're coming out quite easily. And um, once I've done all this, I'll um, show you how to set up the next stage. Okay, I think I'm nearly done. And to be honest, nobody knows where all of the pieces should come out. So if you miss a couple, don't worry. Or if they're really stubborn, um, then don't worry. That's one that's just joined at the bottom. Uh, that one should come out. Like I say, if they're a bit stubborn, just cut them a little bit. If you're just going to pull them out, just be really careful it doesn't tear, okay? So, I think we're nearly there. That one. <laughs> I keep looking and seeing some more. So, I think that's pretty much it. I'm just going to get rid of this a second. A little bit messy, this one, but I'm hoping you'll agree that the little bit of work to get all of this out is worth it. So, what you can do at this stage... Oh, I can see a little white piece down here. What you can do um, at this stage, if you like, I'm just going to put a bit of cardstock underneath so you can see where I'm working on this. Um, some of these pieces, um, that one looks like it needs to come off. Some of these pieces um, can be stuck down if you'd rather. Um, you know, they just lift a little bit. So you might want to go around just on these little end pieces here and put a tiny dot of glue just to um hold them in place but to be honest they don't look bad if they pop up so i put too much glue on that one right come on tracy <laughs> oh dear um i said in my previous video i'm off to rotterdam tomorrow and i've also got a class tonight so i am trying to get these videos done as quickly as possible so that um you know, my class ladies who needed a kit at home can do them. But I'm also um, aware that I haven't done last month's videos yet. But there are less people waiting for that. So I will complete those when I come back. I've just spotted another little white bit there. Um, but yeah, so um, and like I said, these bits here, they just kind of poke through. So you can, if you want, lift them up. They just lifted at one end, but I'm really not too worried. OK, cool. So. Here we are, this is our piece here. So I'm just gonna bring in these other two pieces. So I'm gonna take the slightly bigger one, so the five inch by three inch here, and I'm gonna put a score line. Just get my scoreboard in um, at four and a half inches. So essentially it's it's a half inch from an end, but I prefer doing this end to that end. So four and a half inches on the five inch side um, here. And we're just going to stamp our trees. Now I got this, um, this color combination, particularly in these trees actually. Um, I didn't, I don't think I wrote down who I saw it originally, but um, it was a, um, another demonstrator had put this trio of trees um, on a, on a different card completely here but um if i could remember i would say because you know it's nice to just say who, who where you got the idea from but i um i can't quite remember I'm, I'm sorry about that so this one here i'm inking up in fresh freesia and you need to ink it quite well and this one's going to go on the right hand side here so i'm going to line it up the um the trunk with the bottom of the card here and just press that one down. Okay. And then I'm going to give that a quick clean on my stamping scrub. I've already got some um, spray on here. And then I'm um, going to take a gorgeous grape. Ink this up. Sorry, I think my neighbor's putting their bin out. <laughs> There's a bit of noise around when they're filming. 
making this quite well because we're going to stamp once with this and I'm going to overlap the fresh freezer tree. So press quite hard, pick it back up and without re-inking you're going to stamp again. And that's how we get that little trio of colours. That's really cute. You could probably use Highland Heather if you wanted to ink that one again, but um, I saw this online and I thought that was a really nice effect. So again, just going to give this a quick clean because I've got my last class of this tonight. Okay, so then we're going to do a little bit of stamping in Lost Lagoon. And because it's quite a strong colour, sorry, that is my name, it's a bit of I'm going to um, stamp it off first. And in here, there is this little kind of grassy bit here. Although, actually, it might be even like a pond or something. But anyway, I'm taking it as grass. So I'm going to ink this up, stamp off onto a piece of scrap, and then stamp on here, so near the bottom like that. You could go full-on colour on here, but I quite like it stamped off. And then again, across here a little bit. Okay. And then um, on my other piece here, just what I've got this. So this is the uh, four and seven eighths by three. I'm just going to do a similar similar thing, but oh, I didn't stamp off very well on this. Um, but this time I'm going to start on this edge here. So they're slightly different. And then over here as well. Cool. Very sweet. And you see I missed part of the stamp here, but it really doesn't matter. It looks good anyway. Okay. Um, and then a bit more stamping with Gorgeous Grey. Um, I've chosen this um, stamp set, Sending Love and Best Wishes. Where's it from? Oh, it's from Perennial Postage. Because um, they had Mother's Day and stuff in there as well. Um, so on this piece here, so not the tree piece, on this bottom one, you can choose whichever greeting you'd like. Um, and in fact, I'm going to use a congratulations because we've got a new DDM uh, manager in the UK and I'm going to give this to her when I go to Rotterdam. So I'm just going to find a congratulations on her new job. OK, I can't quite find the one I was looking for, but I'm going to go with Let's Celebrate You from this Celebrate with Tags. Um, I think it's still current, but oh, I got my light. Um, it may not be, but I'm going to use it for this one. But like I said, uh, they had a choice of Happy Mother's Day or um, um, or sending love and best wishes. So it's quite a nice, kind of generic um, sentiment. Okay, so I'm going to ink this up and hope I get it kind of in the centre. I need to re-ink my gorgeous grape ink pad and I realise I don't actually have a re-inker for it which is bizarre because I have most colours. <laughs> I don't know why I don't have this. Um, okay and then also in the set, sorry a bit noisy here, um, you've got these little kind of falling leaves so I thought why not use those as well. <laughs> so let's uh, ink that up also in gorgeous grape and I've just popped it up there. That didn't stamp. Okay, so I went again because um, it didn't line up. <laughs> as it goes, it went all fuzzy, so <laughs> I've stamped it again. Okay, so let's put this together now. So we're going to fold on our score line here, just give it a little burnish. Okay, so this one's going to stick in here. You just want to have a little look. So you don't want it to come so far down. This one's going to stick in here afterwards, okay? Um, or you could line them up and stick them together now, but you don't want it so far down that this comes out the end of the card. So I don't want my first piece to be any lower than that. And I'm just going to have a look just to check that the trees come through quite nicely there. OK, so it's pretty much central on the card here. So pop some glue on the back or some tape, whichever you're using. And we're going to stick this piece centrally I'm just going to check that this isn't going to come out underneath Ooh, sliding. before it sticks for sure no we're fine in fact I probably could come down a little bit if it will still let me slide so just if you're sliding it around make sure you don't have glue okay so that's really pretty because you want to see as much of those trees as you can coming through 
So that's just a, a loose flap. So we've only stuck down this piece. This time we're going to stick this whole piece down, okay? And like I say, what you don't want is it is for it to come out the bottom. So if you have stuck this one down a little bit too far, maybe just shave a little bit off the top or the bottom, maybe off the top if you've got space, because um, you don't want to lose your grass here. So some Tombow glue, liquid glue all the way around. Like I say, this whole piece is going to stick this time. And just try and line it up because it's the same width as this one. So I'm going to just pull that over and check that I haven't gone wonky at the bottom, which I have slightly. So I'm going to slide that. Okay, that's great. So just have another little check. So that sticks underneath. So you've got that kind of two-tiered on the grass here. Um, and then really, this is all there is to it. Um, so it, if it doesn't stand just give it a pinch at the top again and then you're just going to add some of these very sweet and um <laughs> i've used lots of them uh these are the um dots i'm not quite sure what they're called but they're in the lavender suite i'll put it in the description below um but we're going to add just a couple of these um scattered on here Oh, so cute. I'm really happy with how this turned out. So I hope you enjoy making my swing front panel card using the Lavender Suite and Delicate Forest. Take care. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>